What's going on gamers and fans of Mega Man? I am here, Stein, playing Mega Man X4 on my domain. And in case you haven't seen the last uh, 11 episodes, we went through all the Reploid bosses and... Oops, let me connect the thing. I keep doing that. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. We got went through all the Reploid bosses and the final base, uh, the final weapon. We went through Colonel and General and the Spy Double, who used to be sitting over here on the edge of our screen. On, uh, you know, on the side over there, helping us out, who turned out to be a secret agent. So now, I'm gonna go into the final weapon where we have some things to do, uh, where we're gonna be revisiting the bosses. Now we have all of our powers, every single power up you can imagine. We're gonna get some refills for our tanks over here. Gives you some free stuff, and let's drop down the hole. Now here we are, the gold platform. We can't get through this one until we've beaten each and every one of the Reploid uh, masters that we fought before. So let's heal up some of these things, get some stuff for our tanks. Our tanks are actually doing pretty good right now. Okay, so we are going to start and go off from one side to the next and see how many we can do in an episode. I'm, I might split it up into two, depending. Uh, you know, to, uh, one, two, and then we got three and four, and then five, six, seven, eight on the other side. Might do four, four uh, at a time. I don't know which one's which, so we're just gonna have to go through it. And I'm also doing it without the use of their special powers. I'm gonna be using strictly the Mega Buster uh, to take them out, or at the very least, uh, maybe some other weapons to hit them on, you know, other things. But I'm not gonna be using the, weapon, the weapons that they're weak against for the whole fight. So let me save that off real quick. And let's go into the first platform. I don't know if the bosses are listed in order or if they're randomly scattered throughout these teleporters. I don't know how it is. Here is Web Spider. Okay, so maybe it is in order. That would actually make things very interesting. So Web Spider. He doesn't say anything. I'm not sure if it's actually him or if it's just a copy of his body. I really don't know what it is. Let's just go ahead and destroy these little guys or this little guy. He's going to start spawning more guys eventually, but we'll deal with that when it comes. It's actually really easy to take out, though. He doesn't do anything too drastic. He just shoots some webs. You got to dash over, which if you know what you're doing is very, very simple. Doof, there you go. This is what happens in a lot of the Mega Man games as far as I know. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty sure it happens in pretty much all of them, but I could be wrong. But you gotta fight all the, ro the Robot Masters again before you can get to the final section of the game. Uh, the very final boss, which is uh, pretty much always Sigma or Dr. Wily or something of, of, along, that, along those lines. Here we go, he's gonna start with his big attack now with the giant web. Oh, I can't hit him when he starts it, I guess. Let's hit him. There you go, see it sits out and hit him. Oh, here we go with these little robot spiders. Oh, I missed my timing there. Let's keep on him with that. Let him shoot another web. Shoot him. Charge up. He's going to shoot some more spiders. Oh, nope. He didn't shoot spiders. No. No. Let me out. Here we go. Take. Oh, damn it. I missed. Missed my timing with that Mega Buster, but it's okay because he's basically dead. There you go. One. Oh. Two. Three. There you go. And there goes Web Spider for the second time. Thank you for playing Web Spider, it was great knowing you. We'll see you again on Zero's side of the game. Which yes, you know, uh, just the same way as the last episode, I know the last episode ran a little long on X's side, and I haven't recorded Zero's side yet, because I'm not recording any of Zero until I finish uh, X's saga. But I'm pretty sure it's going to take around the same amount of time, so both those episodes are there, and we're going to do the same bosses on each episode with X and Zero here. So whatever I get through with X in about 15 minutes is what we're going to do with Zero. Uh, but that's for later on. You guys will see that in the next one where I go through, uh, you know, the game as zero. But we are focusing on X right now. Here we go, Cyber Peacock. Okay, so um, I don't... Is that the order that they are on, this, on, the, on the top screen? I think it is, actually. Keep hitting you. She gotta keep flying away and teleporting on top of me, trying to hit me with those tails of yours. Ah, oof. Yeah, he always tries to go right on top of you. You just gotta jump away from him at the last second and he'll just fly away. No biggie. There you go. Keep hitting him. Keep letting him teleport. Oh, oops. That was my fault. I ran right into that one. Oop. Ah, run away. And he's going to start shooting his little homing missiles now, which is fine by me. It's not going to be that much damage to me. But I can trick. Oh, god damn it. There you go. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to jump over them, but I'm missing my timing on my jumps. Come on. You know you can't stand up to that. Where are you? Ah! few more hits and you're definitely dead now. One more hit, maybe? Please? One more hit would be nice. There you go. One more hit and you are down for the count, Sarah Peacock. Just using the Mega Buster, like I said. 
showing you how easy it is to use once you have special powers of the, uh, you know, upgraded plasma cannon. Let's go ahead and heal up again. Also, it's better if you do this without getting hit as much, because you get to fill up your tanks a bit more. So really, I'm really trying to, you know, get through this without getting hit as much also. But down to the next section. So if, I th if I'm if i right, this one should be Magma Dragoon. No, Magma Dragoon should be the fourth one. Oh, it's Jet Stingray. Okay, so this is not in order of what's on the stage, because Jet Stingray is down in the lower left, I believe, of technically. So these are not in order of where they usually come. That's fine by me, though. He's going to swoop down, or he's going to shoot things. Okay, that's okay. I can use this to take care of him. I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, this Oh, jump over me again. Jump over him again. There you go. Not letting you use your little... Jet stingrays on me. I'm gonna keep them keep destroying it with my plasma attack. Easy as that. Oh, I missed it. That's not good. All right, well it's okay. They can get destroyed on the way down. He can start sucking me in, but I'll just dash away from that while I charge and get ready. Ah, stop it! Oh, yeah. Damn. I usually stop him before he does it. I didn't know he just dashes across like that. And he's almost dead, of course. Very nice and simple. Ah, no. There you go. Taken out. Of course, I am taking less damage and stuff, and I do have my rocket boost. You know, the upgrades uh, you get do help a little bit, but they're never all, they're never really too helpful, except for really the plasma cannon. Uh, the plasma cannon is the best one. I haven't even really been using my Nova attack, in case you didn't notice. I haven't really been using that at all. But I took no damage there, which is great, which means I get to use more of this health refill. Yay, full health. And now, if I play it smart, I can get through this one and not get hit at all. Let's see who we gotta fight here. And actually, at this rate, being that the bosses are taking so uh, little time to get through, I'll probably just wind up going through all the bosses in this episode and then taking on the final boss of the game in the next episode and all of his different parts. Split Mushroom! Okay, see, this is a lot easier, too, with the Plasma Cannon, because his little clones can't... Oopsie, no! Oh, they can break through, damn it. Oh, I gotta, t I gotta deal with him. Ah. Okay, so that's a pretty easy way to take. It. Ah. Which one are you? I think you're that one. Yep, you are. Good. Ah, he's running faster now. He's running faster now. There he is. He's that one right now, and that one's gonna start doing the same pattern, isn't he? Ah. Ah. Stop it. Stop it! I need all my health packs for later! I can't spare any on you guys! Ugh. 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 No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! No! Okay, so maybe I will split it up, depending on how long it takes me to beat through Split Mushroom. I uh, keep my packs at least, so I can start healing up, so I can start filling up another pack at least now. Ah, haha, -ha, there you go. I'll probably have to use my Nova Dash attack too at some point to get through, to get rid of him easily. Maybe that'll help if I use that. Jesus Christ, Split Mushroom is really one of the hardest to use, uh, hardest to fight, just because of uh, his split attack is just really easy, to, is really simple for him. And it actually, you know, it's hard to get around. You can't destroy it without using his super effective weakness. Jump up here, there you go, I'll take care of that. Now I'll start hitting you again. Now they kinda start jumping at me. Jump, 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 jump. There you go. Split up, come on, buddy. There you go, I'll take you out now. Oh, damn it. Oh, he keeps moving faster and faster though. He's already at that point. Oof. There you go. Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Ugh. Ugh, damn it. Too much damage, oh my god. He's such a hard boss to take out. I guess just because he's taking so long, I'm gonna wind up being here for a little while, unless I use his, his special attack, which I already said I wasn't gonna do. Let's see how my tanks are doing. Yep, they stay at the same, they stay the same in everything, look at that. There you go, fill up some more, fill up some more. And fall back down. Oh, I have to go through them all again, don't I? 
All right, well, I'm just gonna quickly go through them both, and go through all three, and then start again at the split mushroom. Give me one second. All right, guys, here we go again. Got through all of them real quick, and here we go. Let's try split mushroom one more time. This pain in my butt. Little piece of crap does not want to die. Him and his doppelganger are too powerful. It's really all it is. Once you get them started, they're really, really ridiculous to take out. Maybe I'll destroy his doppelganger with the ability that stops him, but that's about it. That's really the best I can hope for at this point. Oof, oopsie, didn't dodge. Hit you while you're up there, get some more damage on you. Oopsie, there you are. Ah, oh, I missed. I gotta watch out my timing, I'm not getting hit like when I'm doing stuff. There you go, trying to do some more damage to you. Ah! Worst case, I'll use a, an energy tank if it's getting too ridiculous. Ah! Come on, come on, come on. Ah, so close to taking you out. And done! There you go, didn't even need to use an energy tank. Nice. Oof! Alright guys, that is actually where I'm going to cut off this episode, and we will go through the next world bosses next time, and then the final episode after that, or what should hopefully be the final episode, because it should be where the last boss is. Good job, X. Let's go and get you a little healed up. Rah, take a little bit of health. Hopefully the next bosses won't be so bad, and you won't take so much damage. Maybe you should think about that next time. We're going to start off here next time, so I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw.